Hi, my name is Viviana Valentine. I'm from Nandi and today FM rocks. My name is Ateva. I work at Golden Point Resort. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks. My name is Fish. I'm from Tava. I like listening to Big Breakfast. Today FM rocks. I'm Juliana. I'm from Maltaka and I like I like listening to Today FM. Hi, my name is Shelly. I live in Arere. Today FM rocks my drug and lollipop. Bula, my name is So. I'm from Navua. I like listening to Today's FM. Bula, my name is Asilika from Rocky Rocky and Today FM rocks with my flip flops. Today's hit music on Today FM. I'm Jackie Spate and this is FBC News. Tonight, a man pretending to be a doctor has been arrested by police. President calls on all Fijians to learn their rights in the 2013 constitution. A new Fiji first parliamentarian to be sworn in soon. Hundreds of Fijians flocked into Albert Park in Suva today to celebrate Fiji's first ever Constitution Day public holiday. President Major General Retire Chochi Kondrote says the Constitution is a living document. Kelly Vavala reports. The 2013 Constitution is described as the framework for the conduct of government and all Fijians. President Major General Chochi Kondrote says Constitution Day is a celebration of our values as a nation a new chapter in our country's history where every Fijian can identify their rights. Our constitution may be our supreme law and the law from which all other laws flow, but it is not a document gathering dust on a lawyer's shelf. It is a living document, a document relevant to every Fijian, a document for every Fijian to read and reread, a document for successive generations to cherish and to defend and protect to commemorate Constitution Day, the road opposite us here that runs along the side of our national parliament is being renamed. From today, Southern Cross Road becomes Constitution Avenue. Many Fijians also believe that a Constitution Day public holiday is important to educate people about their rights and liberties in the 2013 Constitution. It's one of the important events uh, to mark because it's one of the first ever celebration for Constitution Day. We celebrate our transition from the 1997 Constitution to the current Constitution. I came all the way from Laos. It's my first time in Suva and to also witness the Constitution Day in Albert Park. It brings uh, features together so that we may come and learn about the Constitution of uh, Fiji. It's important because uh, we get to know our rights and uh, yes, it's all about togetherness. Southern Cross Road, which runs along Parliament, has been renamed Constitution Avenue as a permanent reminder of the critical importance of Constitution in national life and democracy. Southern Cross Road, as many of you know, was named after the small plane that the great Australian aviator, Charles Kingsford Smith, landed here at Albert Park when he made the first trans-Pacific flight in 1928. The president also stressed that the 2013 constitution is the first to establish the principle that every Fijian is equal. Kelly Patala, FBC News. A man pretending to be a doctor has been arrested by police. The individual who allegedly ran a clinic from his home in Asinu has been exposed as a fraud with no medical qualifications. Survived them all with this exclusive. A fake doctor is alleged to have been operating out of this house in Nasinu. He was arrested this morning after a patient came for a review and became suspicious of his medical treatment. He has some sort of medical equipment where, uh, whereby he can tell what illness well, someone has. And for each consult he was charging $75 without uh, giving any receipt. Uh, this is highly irregular and illegal. Dharmash Prasad, the chief executive of the Fiji Medical and Dental Council, claims the individual who is tonight in police custody also made numerous house visits. When police arrived at this makeshift medical clinic, there were 12 other patients waiting to be seen. If you're going to see a doctor, normally the doctors are present at the hospitals and at private clinics. And they definitely carry a practice license with a picture. Uh, uh, you know, of them to identify them quite easily. 
The so-called fake doctor had been operating for the last uh, three months and according to the Fiji Medical Council, this is quite a serious matter because the individual allegedly administered cough mixture to people who have heart problems. He will be appearing in court tomorrow. Sabera Tamboa, FBC News. The Fiji Ports Terminal Limited has adopted the Vasist Muni Memorial Primary School in Tavua. Board Chair Hasmuk Patel says the company is in a position to be able to help out. Rachel Nath has more. Vasist Muni Primary School will get some much needed repairs thanks to Fiji Ports Terminal Limited making a healthy profit. We wish to support the Adopt a School program uh, which has been launched by the government to assist those schools which suffered great damages to their infrastructure as a result of Cyclone Winston. The school in Tangitangi Tavua suffered major damage in Tropical Cyclone Winston and has now been adopted by the Fiji Ports Terminal. The interim cost to repair the school is around $117,000, so the Board of Directors of FPTL have decided to actually cater for the entire interim cost of $117,000. A team from the Fiji Ports Terminal visited the Sistmuni Memorial Primary and found intensive damage. The decision was then taken to adopt the school. Rachel Nath, FBC News. The Agriculture Ministry's brucellosis eradication program has been hailed a success. As Savaratumbo reports, there has been a significant reduction in the number of farms identified with the disease compared to previous years. Compared to the last two years, where 34 farms were identified to have brucellosis, just three farms have been identified so far this year. This is a huge boost to the efforts of the Agriculture Ministry. So currently, the number of new cases that comes in is around two per month, and which used to be around 80 new cases per month for the last in the last three years. So yes, we can say that we are successful. Uh, in the control and uh, the total in trying to totally eradicate uh, brucellosis uh, from our herd. Farmers have also welcomed the eradication program. So far this program really helps the farmers. It reduces the tuberculosis disease. They really help with the farmers. The eradication program worked well and uh, I think to, to date uh, most of the farms are a bit cleared in Thai level. The Agriculture Ministry has acknowledged that while their efforts are bearing fruit, it would be impossible to fully eradicate brucellosis without the full cooperation of farmers. Uh, it is required that uh, all herds are brought into the stockyard, but uh, sometimes uh, farmers uh, they tend to miss a few herds that are left out there in the bush, and this uh, may, uh, may be infected animals. The Agriculture Ministry is currently working on the immediate strategy, which is the importing of live animals from Australia and New Zealand. Sabera Tamboa, FBC News. A new Fiji First candidate may be sworn in by the end of this month. Secretary General to Parliament Viniana Namosi Malua says they are ready to make arrangements for the swearing in once they receive formal notification. It's understood that the next in line, given the 2014 general elections results, is Brigadier General Apokuki Kurusinga. Um, that's been gazetted. Um, and uh, we are just now awaiting uh, an advice from the Electoral Commission to advise us of who is the next one on the list to be sworn in and uh, to replace uh, the Fiji First candidate, uh, Mr. Natuma, who is now resigned. Parliament will sit for the last time this year on the 26th to the 29th of September. The next session after that is scheduled for February. Still to come on FBC News, a Japanese art exhibition to promote closer ties. M. Dalvinang, we are the Losana, and the Talitakini and Navarong and Bula FM at Golden Point Resort, but send the number to an ahead at Vinaka. Bula Vinaka and other Gotevita out to Ungo Nanti and the Talitavale of Navarong and Bula FM, number two and a set. Nadago Makilesi, where Kraki and Esme and Bula FM number two. I don't know what you can say about the book and do Talitan and Navarong and Bula FM, and Bula and a set of losses. Bula FM, number two and a set. Welcome back. This is FBC News. 
Innovations are in the pipeline for Digicel Fiji's subscriber-based TV service Sky Pacific. Rachel Nath caught up with Chief Executive Darren McLean on the future growth of the company. Digicel Fiji intends to fully utilize all three of its business entities. We see an opportunity for the, these two brands, in fact these three brands, Sky Pacific, Unwired and Digicel, to harness some synergies and it's not going to happen overnight. This is going to take us, you know, you know this is going to take us a reasonable length of time. But I think we're beginning to now see some of the benefits of that. Macklin says some of the synergies between the brands are already in play. However, more can be expected in the future. And looking at all sorts of other ways in which we can enable mobile phones to service our customers and make payments and things like that. So there's some more exciting things to come down the track on, on that front. Since taking over Sky Pacific five months ago, Digicel Fiji has endured many challenges and learned many lessons. But the focus now becomes to, turns to more about those customer experience issues around improving the time it takes to receive payments from our third parties, for example, MH, Post uh, and the banks, mm -hmm. to reduce that down from one to two days to as, as short a time as possible. Sky Pacific has many new innovations in store for its customers and Macklin says an intertwining between Digital Fiji and Unwired Fiji will be the focus. Rachel Nath, FBC News. A month-long exhibition has opened at the Fiji Museum promoting strength and friendship and cultural ties between the people of Japan and Fiji. Japanese Ambassador Takuji Hanatani launched the exhibition titled Beautiful Handicrafts of Tohoku, Japan. Pranita Prakash reports. This exhibition commemorates the 2011 Great East Japan earthquake which devastated Tohoku, the northern region of the main island of Japan. More than 15,000 people died in that tragedy five years ago. In order to build long-lasting friendship and tolerance between people of different countries, it is important that we create better understanding between different cultures, traditions, music and art. This is why our exhibition not only showcases the artworks from Tohoku, but it also promotes cultural exchange between Fiji and Japan. Fiji Museum Administrator Jone Balenaivalu says such exhibitions have been of great assistance to the museum. This uh, exhibition that has been displayed over the years is very inspiring and uh, the relationship is uh, very fruitful. Over the years, uh, the Fiji Museum has benefited from this relationship and uh, the museum has acquired uh, display cases and a cultural grant from uh, the Embassy of Japan. The exhibition, which includes artwork inspired by the earthquake, will be open until October 1st. Renita Prakash, FBC News. Coming up in sports after the break, Waini Marco celebrates Colini Sao's achievements and Senior League enters final stages. This and more coming up. Namaste, Golden Point Resort, Raki Raki Me, Mirchi FM is Garam Garam, Mirchi FM is hot. I'm Sanjay Tavuake, Mirchi FM is hot. I'm Harshana, I love Mirchi FM, it's hot in Lautoga. Hi, I'm Abhinasu, I'm Lambasa, I'm listening to Mirchi FM, Mirchi FM is so hot. I'm Shalini Devi from Covert Avenue, I'm going to talk to you about Mirchi FM, I'm going to talk to you about Mirchi FM. Mirchi FM is hot. Mirchi FM is hot. Welcome back. This is FBC Sports. Hundreds gathered in the Waini Marco community in Cunningham, Nasinu to celebrate the achievements of National Sevens Captain Osir Kolini Sao. Kolini Sao has called Waini Marco home for the last 23 years. Rohit Dale with the story. <laughs> Church and community leaders thank Captain Courageous Osea Colony Sao for leading the National Sevens team to its first gold medal win and for winning back-to-back -back World Series titles. Colony Sao grew up playing rugby with the boys at this very roundabout because Waini Marco doesn't have a rugby pitch. We started uh, at the roundabout and everything starts from there and you know I'm lucky I have a 
so many friends here that I play every afternoon and hold uh, my rugby skill. Uh, just seeing it brings back a lot of uh, childhood memories and injuries to it. Olini Sao thanked his friends and neighbors for all the accolades. Uh, people in uh, my community recognizing uh, the effort and for me it shows that uh, the support I have uh, from uh, my community. I grew up here uh, as a child and uh, you know to see them uh, appreciate uh, the effort and uh, what we did in uh, Rio just brings a smile to the face. Eh? The gold medal winning rugby sensation still hasn't decided what he's going to do next. I don't know what the uh, future holds for me and uh, I, haven't, I still haven't uh, decided yet. I've been just enjoying uh, staying at home and uh, the celebration and I know I have to make a decision. Time is uh, really short right now but uh, like I said once I make a decision then uh, I think I'll let everybody know now what I plan to do. Colini South scored the first try in the 43-7 win over Great Britain in the Olympics final. He debuted for Fiji in the 2008 Dubai Sevens tournament. Rohit Dale, FBC Sports. The Vodafone Fiji under-20 side needs a win against Papua New Guinea in their last pool match at the OFC Championships. The side was held to a one-all draw by New Caledonia yesterday. said yesterday that we'll be giving our best shot and we did so um, and uh, we have uh, earned a point here now yes now it's uh, uh, we need to prepare for our last game that is important uh, uh, that will also put us in the standing where we finish off uh, in this tournament so we'll have to prepare and play uh, the last game to the best of our ability Fiji plays PNG at 1 p.m. on Saturday. The Fijians will need to win that match and hope Vanuatu beats New Caledonia to qualify for the semi-finals. Ba defeated Nandronga 2-1 in the lone Vodafone Premier League match today. Malakai Tiwa and Samuela Nambinia scored for the men in black, while Sakinasa Rakaria got the goal for Nandronga. On Sunday, Super plays Nandronga at Lawanga Park at 3 p.m., while Nandi hosts Rewa at Prince Charles Park at the same time. The Vodafone Senior League competition is nearing completion with the winner to be promoted in the new season. The Southern Division winner is confirmed with the Western and Northern winners likely to be finalized this weekend. Rahit Deo with the story. The Senior League competition is heating up with the final round of matches remaining. The Southern Division winner has already been confirmed with two other winners to be known this week. Lemmy has uh, qualified from uh, Southern Zone and uh, we are left with the uh, Western and Northern Zone which will be played this weekend. Uh, in, the, in West we have uh, uh, Natavua and uh, Rekiriki in contention and in North uh, we'll have a f full round of fixtures this weekend then we can decide who will, who will qualify from the respective zones. The three winners will then play off in a tournament-like round-robin competition. We have each, uh, each qualifier from uh, south, west and north and they will be playing on a uh, league uh, in a weekend competition on a league basis, a single round league basis where the uh, winner at the end of the competition will be declared the winner of uh, Vodafone Senior League and will get promoted to Premier Division next season. The winner of the Senior League will gain direct promotion to the Premier Division in the new season after the court's inter-district championships. Rohit Deo. FBC Sports.
Fijians living in the highlands of Navosa will be able to access government services during a government roadshow next week. Over 30 government departments and private sectors will showcase their services during the roadshow. Commissioner Western Manasa Tangivakimbao says more than 1,500 people are expected to take advantage of the roadshow. These rural areas, these people in the rural areas, they hardly come down, eh? most of them. Most of them hardly come down to to the urban centers. Eh? Uh, from that area, they either move down to Singatoka to do their business or to Nandi. But uh, that's a three hours, four hour drive for them. Eh? And the cost of uh, transportation is um, very, it's, it is very expensive for them. Eh? Uh, to hire trucks and carriers to, to bring them down. The two-day roadshow will be held at Thomas Baker High School in Nanoko on the 14th and the 15th of this month. Cloudy periods with some showers prevailed over the eastern parts and interior of the larger islands. Fine weather prevailed elsewhere. A trough of low pressure lies slow moving over to Valu and extends southeastwards over Wallace and Fortuna. Meanwhile, another trough affects the northern Cooks. Looking at the temperatures, Lombasa was a high of 33 degrees this afternoon, while all other major centers were also quite warm. Suva and Sabu Sabu ended the day at 27 degrees. Tomorrow's forecast is for mostly fine conditions, apart from a few brief showers in the capital city and in Sabu Sabu. The west will have sunny conditions as well. And the further outlook, brief showers about the eastern parts and interior of the larger islands, fine elsewhere, southeast winds 20 to 25 knots, rough seas, moderate southerly swells. Recapping the main stories for tonight. Police have charged an Asinu man for allegedly running a medical clinic with a practicing certificate or professional training in medicine. President Major General Retired Chiochi Kondrote says every Fijian must be familiar with his or her rights and liberties in the 2013 constitution. And Fiji Ports Terminal adopts cyclone damaged Vasis Muni Memorial School in Tavua. For these stories and others, you can tune in daily to our sister radio station, Gold FM. On to our poll question for this week, we are asking, should corporate companies invest more in the Northern Division? To answer, visit our FBC website. Send us newsworthy pictures and videos on email citizens eyes at fbc.com.fj or share it with us via Facebook page FBC News. And if you're on Twitter, follow and tweet us your news tips at FBC underscore news or simply hashtag FBC News. You've been watching FBC News. I'm Jackie Spade. Good night. I'm Duri from Nasinu Market. My choice is simple, Gold FM. Only the classic hits. My name is Yvonne. I'm from Nandi. I love Gold FM. Only the classic hits. Sayandra, my name is Sunny. Only the Gold FM at Golden Point Resort, Raki Raki. Hi, I'm Anna of Nasinu. When it comes to a radio, my choice is always Gold FM. Only the classic hits. My name is Anna and I'm from uh, Nandi. I love listening to Gold FM. Gold FM, only the classic hits. Gold FM, only the classic hits.